Bring him in. Bring him in. We got Mikey V. We got Giuseppe Damar. How are we, boys? Talk to me. Mikey uh, talk V. To talk to us, Joseph. What, what happened? You lose the link there? He was, a, he was a few minutes no, late. No, I don't think podcast. you said Bob never sent the link. Sure, I did. I yeah, sent it via no. text message. No, because my uh, Gmail notification didn't come up. But why can't I? But I sent it during tech message. Nobody else had a problem getting into the lobby. No, I didn't get a. I didn't get the notification from my Gmail. So I sit and wait on my phone. Once a Gmail notification comes in, then I know it's been sent. So I'll go on the laptop and open it. So I'm sitting there picking my ass, waiting for you to send this fucking thing on Gmail, and you're sending it via text. You well, know how he, am I supposed to? How am I supposed to log in through text? You know what Cutsy did today, and I actually commend it. I really do. I mm. really, really love it. Today, uh, Cole cuts is off work. He took a nice little weed gummy and he is betting unders. Every college basketball under. No, not every, not every. I got, I got a couple. He wants to be relaxed. Overs are very stressful. No, 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 no. no. He's he's on the unders, which I appreciate. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. That's what I. That's what I said. He wants to be. He doesn't want to be stressed. He's not. He doesn't want the overs good tend to be stressful because you need things to happen. The under, he could just sit there like a like a tortoise. Speaking I, of which, I have your Ohio State Buckeyes under no. going on right now. Okay, yeah. good. I hope good. I hope they don't make any points. I, I will tell you this. I do <laughs> like being under the influence of marijuana when betting an under. I find it to be that much more enjoyable. Does it enhance the under? For me, it does because the clock is that much better. The clock is that much more fun to watch. It I guess really you could is. hone in but, on it or something. By the way, can we give a big shout out? Mikey V holding down the fort right now um, while Miss Bear Down goes to a John Mayer concert. Um, and Mikey I'll give him a round of applause yeah, there. Mikey V. Nice <laughs> he got the Peloton in. The kids are asleep. I mean, this He's guy can do podcast. no wrong, Bob. Some guys, Giuseppe, <laughs> are just really, <laughs> really rise to the occasion. Bear Down, feel free to laundry. elaborate. Don't forget the laundry I threw in either. <laughs> I forget la- and laundry. And I was like, well, if you're going to give me compliments, keep them rolling. The whole yeah, time. Laundry, yeah, yeah. laundry to me is just i mean laundry is just something that if it were up to me i would pay for wash and fold every week i would because i just think wash and fold mm-hmm. is just one of the more underrated services in the entire what is wash world. and fold wash and fold is where you bring your clothes to a dry cleaner but they wash your like you don't get them dry clean they just do your laundry for you and they charge you by the pound it's incredible i used to do it all the time before i got married i did it all the time and then obviously my wife was like you're gonna stop uh, paying to get your laundry done. I, I, I was like, I, I don't see this. why. I, I think it's yeah, a great Holly term. had to put a very quick end to that. Yeah, but I kind of tell you, there's, there's <laughs> top notch. It's there's no there's no feeling in the world like just dumping a bag of shit laundry, like a twenty pound bag of laundry that's just a, just a burden, just a just a just a dark cloud hanging over your head, and just dumping it at someone else's doorstep and saying, "There you go, pal. Here's twenty dollars." Do with it what you will. I'll be back tomorrow, and you come back. Everything is clean. It only costs you twenty dollars. That's not bad at all. A do- a that do- is very pound. reasonable. You know what? I'm you know what I mean. You. Cold cuts we're talking oh, yeah. about. And I said, if I became filthy rich, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, it, some may say that's already happened. But well, well, I mean, uh, can, we, <laughs> can we not? Can, can we not? Can we not do this? Just yeah, others have. Filled, filled, others, filled. meanwhile, bear down, have to scratch and claw <laughs> at their nine to five. Can we not do this? Yeah. Can we not? Can we? Sorry, keep I don't mean to, to to you know rain on your parade over there, Bob. But go do ahead. We, go ahead. I mean, cuts. We, I think if people watch your daily <laughs> lifestyle, they would. Uh, some people may take it a little insulting if you're going to claim that you're scratching and clawing your yeah. way. To, we were out the other day, and this girl was talking to us, and she goes, "So what do you do?" And she turns to Bob. He goes. Well, what I do is what I do, and uh, I'll give you the average day. <laughs> I love that. Because the average day consists of me getting up, you know, I have my bagel and stuff, you know, then we have, you know, a podcast once a week, and, you know, I do some content, and, yeah, that pretty much sums it up. That's fair. I was, like, looking at him, like, what kind of dream world is this fucking young man in? He is. He Meanwhile, is. We're, we're putting in the work. We're scratching oh, and clawing over here, bear down. <laughs> I essentially have two jobs because I practically work for this guy. We done? Can I? Can we move on? I'm done. I just, I, you know, it's once in a while you just you keep the ball rolling. Well, do me a favor. Watch your ride. <laughs> uh, what I did say um, is that if I became filthy rich, the two things that I would spend my money on, like of course I would want a house and all that, but the two first things that I would do: a driver. I hate driving. I mm. I I would get a, a, a personal one. driver with like one of those big SUVs. 
um, or roll in the stretch limo that me and Mikey V took to dinner that night. You don't have to worry <laughs> on the world. You don't even know that you're driving. And then the other one would be a personal chef. Oh, yeah, the personal chef. By the way, our executive chef, Drew Rosenberg, said if we ever need someone to call, Bob. Drew Rosenberg. For the he executive, would be a hell of a, of, of a guy. The guy who is really the right-hand man for Wolfgang Puck. That would not come cheap, by the way, Joseph. No, it wouldn't, but I promised him the world. <laughs> um, we got a lot to get into, boys, okay? And um, we are actually going to be bringing on the Jet, our producer. He has no idea why he's coming on tonight. And I'm telling you right now, it's going to get shipped. <laughs> and there's a good chance that he's very upset. Um, he does have a temper on him. You know that, Joe. Bear down, you know that. Um, and he could be upset, but I honestly feel like as good as it'll be for content to watch his reaction to this. At the same time, I do feel that it needs to be said. Mm. And that's just a little teaser there because I do, before anything, want to go into our buy and sell segment. Um, I'm going to roll it with you, boys. You know the drill. Restaurants could be an athlete, could be anything. What did you see this week that you like? What do you want to buy your stock in? What do you want to sell your stock in? And we're going to start with cold cuts. I wasn't ready to start there, but okay. Okay, um, then we're going to start with me. What I would like to go ahead and sell <laughs> is, <laughs> is live events, live sporting events I want to sell. We were at the Oh, golf. this is a terrible take. Yeah, we were he's at the golf go, tournament. Go oh, God. We were at the golf tournament this week, and it was a lot of fun, and we had a ball. But I am... At this stage of my life, I'm done with traffic. I want to avoid traffic at all costs. I don't want to go anywhere where there has a chance to be traffic. And another yeah. thing, <laughs> the angles that you see on TV compared to live sporting events is night and day. It's just well, the momentum you thing. feel when you're at the stadium is 10 times That's nice. what you, and you can know ever what? experience in the home. That's something that I'll lose on the cell, but I could live with that. I could go to my fridge. I could go to the bathroom. I don't have to wait in the line to go to the bathroom. I don't have to spend $20 for a beer. I just, not that I don't like live events, but I don't think they're all meant out to be. I'd rather be at home on my couch watching it than having to deal with traffic, long lines. I think I'm going to get shit on. I mean, this I is a terrible uh, I agree to an extent. I do agree to an extent, um, but not like... Big time college sporting event like college football. I mean, Bob, you were at the old Miss game. I mean, yeah, it was incredible. That was incredible. Yeah, I mean, big Bob, time, by big the time way, college on. football and and professional playoff games to me are um, like must see events. But I, I think the rise of television and the level of coverage that they do give you on TV now, like back in the day, you know, everything was one camera angle. Replay sucked. It wasn't in high definition. Now everything is like it's basically on demand sports content you know, round the clock, however you want to see it, however you want it. So um, that didn't exist back then. So I think there was more of a, like a mystique about going to a game because you truly were one of a small group of people that actually knew what the score was, you know, prior to Twitter and everything like that. Like, you know, the news didn't spread that quickly. You'd have to wait for the next day's newspaper. Now forget it. You know, I just don't see, I could see your point to a certain to a certain Appreciate extent. It also doesn't help that the teams he cheers for suck for the last like five years. Well, yeah, well, you know what? Always, you, go, you know, yeah. if you were yeah. cheering for a team that was you know you know reputable or was you know relevant for the time being, not like the Jets. I mean, and some of these teams you cheer for, it's just don't go the Yankee route. Uh, you do yeah. the Jet uh, route. Don't, no, don't I, 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 route. I show That'll respect look, to the Yankees, but they oh, have been do. bad recently, Bob. Go the Jet route. Just don't touch the Yankees. My route. point That's is that you I mean, if you were cheering for teams that were contending to win in their field or in their sports, I mean, I think you would want to go and check that out. Would you not? Would you not want to go to a Yankees playoff yeah, game? Yeah, 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 I would. Yeah, I would. Yeah, so, yeah, I think that that makes – you know, when you're, when your teams are not doing well and they're not successful, you don't really have a desire to even watch it, to be honest. So why would you ever even go to the game? Golf to me is something that I, and I, you guys know, obviously a lot better than me. Golf to me seems like something I'd much rather. And I do watch a couple of like the majors on television. I, I don't know. I just feel like I would much rather watch that on TV specifically Correct. only because like, I, I, I can only, you can only physically be in one spot, right? This is there, true, so yes. like, That's where I got the main gist out of the cell for. And I know I'll get buried for it. 
I, I, I know I will, no question about it. But that that really was what I was thinking about the 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 golf events, and it's a blast being there. It's our demographic, it's good see our people. For it's sure. a don't get me wrong, we have a fucking ball. We got the media passes. It was it was a blast. But yes, golf, you're limited to 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 one hole, to one grouping. Um, so I think golf more than anything still will get buried for this take. <laughs> I mean, you should have seen him bear down. He wasn't complaining when he was being mobbed by the millions of fans at the tournament. <laughs> oh, Guys, just was, like, oh, who wants the next picture? Just send laps, him on down. He laps it up, but you know, oh, what? It's, yeah. it is great though. It's great. It, I, I will say it's cool. It's cool. By the way, bear down. We and and we're gonna have the jet on even to talk about this. It, it was really embarrassing. <laughs> we we came with cold cuts, and I think part of the reason why we got recognized so much is because cold cuts really is so recognizable. I mean, I go and i have a lot of people that will come and ask for pictures and i'm having a ball when i go with cold cuts it's times 10 like we couldn't even move when we got there it was just picture after picture after picture but cold cuts is such a loud individual that throughout the tournament throughout the tournament there were caddies and players that had to shush him and tell him that he had to quiet down. He had no awareness for people taking shots because there's different holes right next to each other. There's shit yeah. happening all over you there, Bear Down. But, You're like three holes, one, one fucking teeing off. The one over here is fucking is putting. But, but Joe, by, you get nobody, nobody else was getting shushed. Nobody else. It was only happened shushed. a couple times, Bear Down. It, it, it had not... to happen five times. I would and say. by the way, how am I supposed to respond when Bear Down, some, some, you know, loving fans coming to like come up and dab me up? I'm not gonna be like, hey, buddy, how's it going? Like, but I, oh, man, I'll be myself. Yeah, I mean, like a fan came over a picture and guy's ready to hit his tee shot and Cole Cook goes, yeah, man, of course. <laughs> and you just hear the caddies go, shh, shh. The entire time, the entire uh, time. To where there were times <clears throat> where me and the Jets stepped away from him. So you we did not. We sure did. That's we, absurd, Joe, by the way. we absolutely did. And it just kept happening. And there was no sign of maybe it is gonna Maybe Cuts is like the modern day Happy Gilmore of the golf course. <sighs> Yeah, and you know, maybe he's gonna he's gonna the dynamics. Yeah, maybe you should be able gonna... to play through some adversity when oh, these I guys go that. and play in college ball and, and 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 you know they're playing in teams where people are freaking throwing you know different distractions or trying to throw a free throw, screaming, yelling. What a golfer he needs undivided silence and attention on the freaking tee box. God forbid somebody half a hole away is saying hi to an adoring fan. And you know what too, which is just classic <laughs> cold cuts as well. Bear down <laughs> when they shushed him. It was their fault. It was the caddy's fault. Oh, you would either say the caddy was sensitive or the was. player. He would say the player needs to lighten up a little bit. Like <laughs> they, no, there's there's 30,000 people there and he's the only guy out there getting shushed. Which is ridiculous because there was times afterwards there were people way louder than me and then they didn't get shushed at all. It could be a biased shush. <laughs> okay, I, I mean, maybe they heard me and they're like, "We know who that guy is. That's cold cuts. We're gonna shush him." A bias shush, huh? Just <laughs> classic Giuseppe. Classic That's vintage incredible. Giuseppe. Um, okay, so boys, we are going to bring on the jet, and I, oh, I'm telling you, he now might maybe the voice game. of the voiceless will calm him down. No, <laughs> I don't know. He is a bundle of tense. You can only see. We can only see what, what's Jet. Why don't you describe what's what what the situation we're having right now with the Jet? I mean, you, you want me to tell Bear down straight up? I mean, the straight up is don't yeah, are, no no frills no uh don't well, no you sugar, don't get don't frills you don't get frills it. with don't cutsy. sugarcoat it. There's no frills with cutsy, but that's why I'm having you dis- actually say this. I love the Jet. I, I want to make it known. I do love the Jet. I think he's he's integral part of the operation. Everything he does is great. But you got to call spade a spade at the end of the day. You know, we went on a limb. We brought him in as a fourth for the right. four play pod match, which, right. by the way, is going to be viewed by mil- yeah, hundreds of thousands of people. Yeah, we're playing for the people that don't know. Bob it's, says sports Our four guys are going up against four play pods, four guys. So bottom line is it's going to be viewed on a large scale. This isn't like some little, you know, little live that we're doing and no one's going to see it, right. you know. So we agreed to have Jet come in as the fourth, and we've been excited. And he's played two rounds this week, and both have been abysmal. What is a really what is abysmal? Shooting in the what hundreds? I'll I'll I'll, I'll, well lead, with, I'll lead with I'll lead with this bear down. He started off 
He got a 12 pack of balls <laughs> to start. Okay. We got through nine holes. Stopped at Bob's the turn. getting cold feet now. He got another 12 pack of balls. And by the time we got done with 18, both 12 pack of balls were depleted. Let me ask you this because I need to get a sense of it because I don't know. Because, you know, when you guys post the, the golf videos, like I really don't pay attention to the score. I don't know if you put your, what's like a good day out. What's a good 18 for you guys? Like on average, like in, like in the high 80s. Is that like a no, really low, good for day? me? For me, it's low 80s to break into the high 70s. That's what yeah, really and, and I would be like mid 80s. I'm happy with. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, normally I'm probably shooting mid to high but, 80. But the problem we have, Bear Down, is we really want to win. I mean, I love the four play gods, guys, and this is great. I mean, the the, the viewership from it's going to be awesome. And these guys have just been very good to us. They talk about us on the podcast all the time. Mm -hmm. We know all of them personally. They're great. But, of course, we want to win. Yeah. And we have Fat Perez, who is unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, he oh, should be yeah. – he he's, probably the good, he's probably the best guy. He's probably going to be the best golfer on the course that day. Yes, I agree. I agree. Yes, These guys are good. Club yes, champion, Fat, by the way, Fat Perez. He's phenomenal. He's phenomenal. Um, if we could, maybe the Jet could roll over some clips if he's not too mad at me um, of Fat Perez <laughs> on the golf course. It, it's one of the most riveting things you'll see. However, it's a four-man scramble each side. And like me and Joe have to step up. And oh, yeah. the, the, the fourth is really key. And the, the, the game we're getting out of the Jet is – very, very concerning. And there's a lot of people that we skipped over to give the Jet the game ball. Um, yeah. And it's been bad. And I don't feel the Jet is taking it very seriously. That's my Well, issue. Bob's getting cold uh, feet now is what's happening. What do you mean? What am, what am I getting cold feet about? About whether or not he should, you know, if he's going to contribute, if he should be there. No, we're committed. I, I think we're committed to him. I, I, I do. I think we have to. <laughs> I mean, if you're committed to him, what's the point of this conversation, to be honest with you? <laughs> <laughs> that's what i'm saying if you're committed to it, we, obviously uh there's there's some doubt i'll um, tell you this i if we threw in maybe he just needs Dave, a pep talk there's some guys that could substantially increase our chances that aren't just guys that we're just throwing in because they're good golfers chipping, chipping pots they got to be guys part of our crew were you aware pots. were you aware of jets golfing prowess before you well, made him to be a caddy yeah, he used to I'm be. Not my, that's model. not my. That's not my to, question, though. To be that's honest, not my question as a player, as a player. Uh, yes, and I thought that he was a lot better than what I have seen. And I, <laughs> after the last round, I didn't had, do the interview. He went straight to the higher. Yeah, I. <laughs> <laughs> easy oh. down there, bear down. Easy down there, bear down. I'm, I'm, I'm just asking the question. I'm not. Oh, I'm, jump. I'm asking the important. Bear down's very calm today, by the way. I. I, I really thought he was better. I did. And the last few rounds have given me <laughs> reason for doubt. Beyond doubt. Reasonable doubt. <laughs> so he, let's let's bring him in. Yes, I am having cold feet to a degree. I, I admit. <laughs> and let's go. Let, let's let's bring on the jet. And I'm telling you right now, he might keep it together for the pod. I will be receiving a call after and he will implode on me. Folks, we interrupt the Brilliant Dumb Show to let you know that the Brilliant Dumb Show is brought to you by Athletic Greens. I started taking Athletic Greens because I needed to change. I needed to get that little pep to the step and take care of my health, which is most important of it all. Athletic Greens with one delicious scoop. You're absorbing 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source superfoods, cryobiotics, and much more. Don't mess around with your health, ladies and gentlemen. It supports better sleep quality and recovery. AG1 from Athletic Greens is a small micro habit with big benefits. It's one thing you can do every single day to take great care of yourself. Don't mess around, ladies and gentlemen. Get yourself Athletic Greens. Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. To make it easy... Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune support and vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash dumb. That is athleticgreens.com slash dumb to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Folks, don't forget, the Brilliant Dumb Show is brought to you by our good friends 
at HelloFresh. HelloFresh has fit and wholesome recipes for satisfying, nutritious meals that you can feel good about with six recipes per week to choose from, including low calorie and carb conscious options. Warm yourself up from the inside out with limited time recipes inspired by cozy classics from around the world, like the beef tenderloin and cheese fondue, or miso sesame shrimp and bacon ramen do it right in the kitchen ladies and gentlemen hello fresh is making it easy i do it all the time you don't want to order in you want to save money you don't want to go to the grocery store because you don't want to deal with that hassle what do i do i dial up hello fresh go to hellofresh.com slash dumb 16 and use code dumb 16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. Again, that's HelloFresh.com slash DUMB16 and use code DUMB, D-U-M-B-16 for up to 16 free meals from your boy, Bobby. Always looking out for the brilliantly dumb faithful. In the meantime, we are moving on. Um, ladies and gentlemen, let's give a warm round of applause here for the jet, ladies and gentlemen. Hey! Bring him in, bring him hey. in. Hey. <laughs> There he Nerd. is, the jet. The uh -oh. jet has arrived. Boy, are we happy to see you, jet. <laughs> I, I'm a little nervous. I don't know what's about to <laughs> Okay. All right. Um, we we got to have a discussion with you, okay? Because we love you, the jet. And, and like Cut said, integral part. I mean, the, the, there is no operation without the jet. And that's <laughs> and that's the truth. Cut, did you want me to take it or did you want to take it? No, no I, I would like to hear you take it for... You're an integral part of the crew, Jet. And when the match came with the four play pod, which is going to be huge for us, yep. we were at Texas Roadhouse. You didn't say anything for a month after. So I was trying to figure out who our fourth was going to be. And I threw a couple names in there and some names that I told them that they would have a high probability of being the fourth. Whoever comes in there, that's great for them as well. Good PR all the way around. We're at Texas Roadhouse, which, by the way, does have the best buns you could okay. possibly. They, they are really, really good. There's um, a lot of interrupting. There's a lot of singing that they do. But other than that, it's, it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, the, the Texas Roadhouse, they come and they do like a rodeo type thing. And they come out and they dance for like five, ten minutes. But as soon as the music stops, people need waters. People need drinks. So then it just turns into chaos. Um, <laughs> Literally. But... Yeah. But Jet broke to me, and, and Jet was upset that he's like, how come I thought for sure that I would be a shoe in for the fourth? I thought that it's an absolute no-brainer. Um, so what I did, Jet, is I told the people who were going to be the fourth that, hey, we got to make the Jet the move. The Jet is, he's bloody, he's in the house. He's, it, it's a no-brainer. No. Now, Jet, what we will say is the prior rounds that we have gotten out of you have been extremely concerning extremely <laughs> extremely concerning and we're about a month away and you know what jet nope. if you were playing bad golf and that was it no problem me and joe have been playing bad golf without that we've been terrible however i got the feeling that i don't see the drive for you to be out and going to the driving oh. range and and putting the work in i don't think that you care enough to put the work in and that for me is very concerning, and I wanted to get this out on the open. And Jed, I'll let you have. That's gonna explode. Let me, <laughs> let me start from the beginning here. There, now you can you can be the judge. You know, he's going judge, to be. Yeah, judge whole cut. He's very judge, judicial. Judge the you know hose gate so well last week, so you can you can judge this. One. Okay, here's what happened. I can go back to the beginning, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we get this match against foreplay, and originally I'm just thinking I have to film it, right? Because it's going to be on Bob the Sports, it's going to be wherever. Then we find out play wants to do it they want it for their channel so in my head i'm like in my head at least i bob does sports is it's a three-man week okay it's bob it's cold cuts and it's myself okay correct so yeah. bob the holy trinity sports, the holy trinity so so in my <laughs> head i'm thinking and obviously fat perez was in because he's part of bob does sports he's a huge part of brilliantly done correct. you know so he's gonna be the third and then the fourth i i had to film so i was like okay they'll, they'll find somebody whatever once four play said they're like, they want to film it. In my head, I'm like, okay, obviously I'm in. I was in one of the Bob Does Sports videos. I'm there every day. I am Bob Does Sports. Like, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> so, me, it was, I am indeed Bob Does Sports. <laughs> Bob Sports. So, in my head, it was like, there's, it's not even a question. Like, they can, they can, you, Bob will just, they'll, they'll tell me I'm in and that's it. Now, I'm not going to beg to play on Bob's oh. team 
against foreplay. If if no. they didn't if they don't want me to play, <laughs> I wouldn't beg either. Of course. So now no. obviously it's huge. It's good exposure. Whatever. If they massive don't, exposure, massive exposure. If they don't want, I'm not. I, I don't beg for anything. So it's like it's not about business. It's about respect. We all. Know. <laughs> well, Cody, he quoted the okay. classic Jerry from the, Bond. He I did. think that's you know that's yeah that's true. So in my head, I was like, if they don't want me to play, and also. I understand. I, I'm not. First of all, we play golf all the time. Now, lately, I've been playing bad. The first few times I played with Bob, I played pretty well. That's a fact. Okay. <laughs> and I told, them, I told them from the start, I said, I'm going to give you a couple good shots when you need them. I'm going to make a couple putts. I have a hole in one. We don't have to talk about it, but it happened. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, <laughs> but we just did. <laughs> so I said, it's like, it, it, it's Bob does sports against foreplay. It's not, you should have heard the names these guys were throwing out. I don't know if I could say, can I say the names? Sure. Oh, oh, oh. sure. They wanted, they were like, yo, let's get Johnny drama. In my head, I'm like, oh, classic Bob does sports character, Johnny drama. <laughs> I think he'd be great for viewership. He's been a part of the crew. What he's been he's golfing with us before. What does he have to do with Bob does sports? Nothing. Not like, a whole lot. Like, to, me, to me, it was like, like if the Pistons are playing the Lakers, they don't get to like pick a new players before they play the Lakers. <laughs> you <up> your dog. <laughs> the belly roll up. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we got one. We got one. I might not have to hear. To hear I might not have to hear anything else other than what Jeff just, just, just said. He said. He said, <laughs> "Bob, you have a roster. Stick to it." That's what he said. <laughs> I, I, I understand them not them being concerned with my game. Because my game is not that good. We are concerned. But to me, <laughs> but also, you should. These guys are talking like they're scratch golfers. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Honestly, we have reason. Uh, no, no, we never that, said that. Hidden eagles themselves. But, Jet, here's what I'll say I think Cold Cuts is taking it very seriously. I'm taking it very seriously. Right. And I don't sense that same feel and, and seriousness to go out there and put on a really good display. I don't see you hitting the range before this podcast. I don't see you having any desire <laughs> to go. Well, he is getting his club shipped, Bobby. We got to remember oh, that. My, my clubs are on the way. Second of all, I have this thing called work. I do all day. <laughs> where I, I was going to gonna say, uh, Bob didn't really <laughs> like, look at that angle. That too we're well watching it, but... Right now, when you're at the range, I'm working on it. So, <laughs> 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 the range. so it's like, to me, I, I get the golf aspect of it, but to me, it's it's the Bob does sports versus foreplay, and we are Bob does sports, and they are foreplay, and Johnny Drama is entourage. So what, like, where? That's all. I, I you know, that's it. What would you What would you say, Jet? Honest to God, okay. With you now coming in as our fourth, okay. I think we were already pretty much underdogs. Well, be dead dogs. honest with yourself. We're okay? dogs. You, yeah. you know, you know, oh, we're odds. Dogs. We're right. dogs, all right. You know odds. You know Vegas. What would you say is with you coming in at the fourth, or is the honest odds? The odds, if you're asking me after yesterday, I think we're like plus two ten. Oh, see, I, I, I honestly would. My numbers at two eighty five. Whoa, my I numbers at two eighty five. And by the way, you know, I'm giving you a hard time, Jet. Me and Cole Cuts have been really bad. But you've seen me hit good like we played plenty of times you've seen me i mean i've i've seen a lot of can i see what bothered me what bothered you giuseppe it was it wasn't the golf per se that bothered me what bothered you and Jen, i see this out of love pure love what bothered me is i was his i was his partner yesterday bear down i was his partner he's watching the baby cam um i was his partner and the, what bothered me is we would have a hole and Jet would go out of bounds on like the first shot. He's like, yeah, I'm out of this one. I'm <laughs> yeah, out of this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah. how can you be out of this one? You've hit one shot out Correct. of bounds. Like, yeah, I'm out of this one. So then now I'm going one versus two. And it wasn't once. Like, I can understand if it was like you're having a couple bad holes and you said, I'm going to sit this one out. I mean, it was multiple times. Yeah, I'm out on this one. You're on your own. I'm like, how much alone more alone can I be? I'm like standard and stranded in the desert over here. You care to respond? We were, we were not playing a four man scrap. First of all, I'm a notorious quitter. Everybody knows that. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, a that's what's concerning <laughs> to me. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Very <laughs> concerning. No, no, no. We weren't playing a four man scramble. We were, if I hit the ball out of bounds in the <laughs> match, notorious in the quitter. match. But just as, hold on just a second. I can't let's, wait let's, to make that album cover in uh, Photoshop. Yeah, that's, 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 that's a clip. That's a clip. Hey, Jack, he's gonna hey, Jack clip. clip that. Clip that, Jack. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm a no notorious <laughs> quitter, Benjamin Schicker. Put it on. <laughs> Go ahead, Jet. Um, yesterday's match. See, these guys, they're 
I, here's the thing. The more we talk about this, the more annoyed, like I almost, I'm, whatever. Besides that, we were playing. They twist things, Jay. Jay. You don't have to explain the way they twist <laughs> I know, the narrative. Yeah, I know yeah, how they twist. Yeah, These guys are oh, masters. You know about fucking, twisting narratives, they are master <laughs> fucking, They're like pretzel makers. <laughs> 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 just thing is twisted and fucking. It's what? Like, <laughs> master pretzel, pretzel makers. <laughs> yeah, master pretzel makers. <laughs> That's what they are. They're pretzel I know they are. You don't have That's to. That's not. I don't, do that. That. I don't do that. I don't do that. No, never cuts. Never. Tear down best ball versus Bob and Cole cuts. But besides that. We, what I, yesterday's was, it was, we were playing a best ball. So if my ball goes out of bounds and I'm laying seven in the fucking fairway and Cole Cuts is laying one off the tee, what am I hitting shots for? Like I, I was, I was for the repetition for, for getting, getting prepared. That's, yeah, that totally. Is but that's, that's fair, but. You but, can't do that on the, when they post it to YouTube, we say, oh, by the way, we omitted all the jet shots because he was out of bounds on the first. I'm not, sure. not going to say that, but I told you guys what you're going to get in the, coming into the match i'm going to give you a few good shots when you need like i'm not a good golfer it's it's no okay way. here here's my here's here I, I accept this okay and the jet is doing a lot of editing for you so i'm going to compromise here okay jet i'll compromise this we don't need to do with my skill as a golfer and has let, me just, to do with jet, let me just say no no, so no i'm actually, going to compromise instead of bob him having to go to the range every day why don't you just focus on your putting just like work on the putting oh, because yeah. no, that is something that can impact Bob. That's oh, something that we can yeah. impact. That, that happened. That just happened. Well, yeah, that's I, fine. That's a fine thing to say. It's not, it's, so it's two things. It's one, it's that they don't think I, I am taking it seriously because I work all day. So I don't have time to like, yeah, yeah I have a problem with that stuff. more and than so anything one. else. I think and two, I have a problem that, with that. two, it's that even if we know we're massive underdogs, we, we ride together. Like what, what do you mean? What like, so you're just going to go pick somebody else. You're going to do a LeBron. You're just going to team up with three other guys and who have nothing to do with the show. And <laughs> you, we're not saying guy, we're getting rid of you, Jet. You we're just trying to let a fire under your ass. If you go get a ringer and then you go and beat foreplay, did you really win? Like, what do you want me to tell you? Like, I am Bob Does Sports. <laughs> very good case. case. <laughs> the best line of this whole podcast is, I am I mean, Bob Does Sports. I love that line. Well, yeah. I mean, I, I prefer anyways, he is. In many ways, he is. is. Yeah, you know, Ben. I said he's like the dog, the evil scientist. You know, and we are the we're the Frankenstein, because the way he puts it all together is is just it's it's masterful. You know. No, 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 no. He's Doctor Frankenstein. That's what I said. You're the no, you didn't. You said he's the mad scientist, and you said you're Frankenstein. He's we're the animal. He's Doctor Frankenstein. It wasn't an animal. It was a monster. A monster, whatever. But I'm saying he's the he's the one who put us together. He's Doctor Frankenstein. Yes. Let's just get that clear for everyone. (laughs) That's what I said. (laughs) Okay. Okay. But I I said that out of the gates. No way. Whether mad scientist, I meant doctor, whatever. The the guy who who combines and Doctor Frankenstein. Go ahead, Doctor Frankenstein. I I thought Frankenstein was the green guy. No, that's the monster. That's Frankenstein's monster. Okay, and that, ahead, that makes a lot of sense. Rush ahead, up Jay. on your Mary Shelley cuts. Jesus, bear down. Um, whether I'm in or out, we need, you guys can't, like, I can't have you guys, when I'm sitting there teeing off, you guys being like, oh, why do we fucking, like, why do we bring, like, yeah, it's not worth it. We got to get on the same page and we got to play. And this is a, this, it, again, it has nothing to do with golf. It has nothing to do with business. It's all about respect. respect. Yeah, I mean, wow. You could clip that too while you're I at think it. that Jet doesn't have <laughs> as much problem as you guys talking about his game. I think that when you're questioning the young man's character, his desire, his will, his passion. His desire everything. and will. Did we not just clip I'm a notorious quitter? Yeah, that that's... didn't help Jet's case. Not at all. That line did not help. help. That, that, line, I, that line did not help. <laughs> half, folks. Second of all, it meant like when I'm out of the hole, I'm out of the hole. That's all it means. I'm not going to try to, you know, <laughs> pretend I, ha- I have something to give there. You know what I mean? I'll support you from the cart, but, you know. <laughs> like, that, you, yeah. you know that. Now, you know that. And you I, know what? If you think Johnny Drama is not going to, you know, quit on you and he hits it out of bounds, I don't know what to tell you. Now, I do just want to touch on one more thing, Jet. And again, I, I feel good that we're getting this out. Is that coming hot enough or no? Because I'm you came I'm, in. Yeah, I know. And this is not, I know this is not over. I know when the podcast comes, I'm going to get a phone call. <laughs> and I, maybe I deserve that phone call. But I'll tell you this I'm sorry that it came on the podcast, but it does feel good to get this out. It really does. Yeah, it's very do you, therapeutic. Do you feel moment. better? Do you feel yeah. better, Joseph? Because I feel better. I feel good. Yeah, I feel good about it. Do you feel better, Jet? I do, but I'm also concerned. <laughs> As There's something wait. about talking <laughs> in a platform when Bear Down's involved. It's very soothing. Bear Down, Bear Down. It has nothing. It's 
It's about <laughs> like after all the four of us, but the three of us on Bob the Sports have been through for them to just be like, ah, oh, like, you know, we don't, he doesn't have a good enough game to play with us. We like never, that. we never said that. Yeah, we that was said never that. said. No, we, you're our fourth. We said we were right. concerned. I, think, so. I, think I believe we said we support. were concerned. And I even called the people. There was a couple of people that I called, back nine Chuck being one of them, where I said, I'm sorry, I got to yank you. Because once Jet said that to me at Texas Roadhouse, yep, yep, yep. I said, he has to be it. He has it right I, away. I can't. He does. I, I, can't. I assumed, I thought, I assumed <laughs> that you – knew that I would have wanted to play. That's no, all. When I found no. out you didn't actually, then that's fine. Like, I am I also don't tell you, like, you're supposed to read my mind and know that I want to play. <laughs> so I get that yeah. too. That's fair. Okay. Um, one more thing that I do just want to touch on real quick. Uh, before we go to our top five, we got a doozy of a top five. I actually think Jet should stay with us for the top five to to represent. Yeah, that my Jet, Jet, Jet may be in my top. By five. the way, we didn't yeah. do any more buys or sells. <laughs> Bob, we didn't do any more buy or sells. Well, we only we're rolling. One. We're rolling here. We're 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 rolling. I gave my one bad mm. bad uh sell that I'm gonna get buried for, and then we kept and the ball was rolling it? here. Yeah, uh, because we got Rayos tonight. By the way, Giuseppe. So what when, time? When, 615. Oh, but Bob, the, the, the first, the end of the first part of the game is not. We can be watch bad. it. We can watch it at the bar. They're going to have the TV on. Oh, I already texted gonna, Tracy. This is going to be great, Bear. Now I'm going to miss the ending of these bets. That's going to be just real wonderful. Um, you know, Pacific time zone will get you. Bear down. This is classic cutsy. We pulled up to this country club yesterday mm-hmm. and we pull in and it's open to the public, but it's also a mm-hmm. private course. So cutsy drives in. And there's an arrow that says guest parking, member parking. The guest parking and the member parking are the exact same distance to the clubhouse. Okay. Cutsy is driving straight. The right says member parking. Of course, veers a vicious yes. right. Yes. A vicious right. Yes. Parks in the first slot of the member parking. And these guys are pretty uptight over there. Parks in the first slot. Gets out of the car and, you know, me and Jet are saying to him, like, did you have, like, why can't you just take a left and just go into the guest parking? Like, why, why do you have to do this? Goes into the first slot, takes out his shoes as if they're baseball cleats and starts banging his shoes together. There was excess grass from the previous round on the bottom of the cleat. And, 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 and. What do you want me to do, Bob? It's like I was about that. to go in the clubhouse. It's out of respect so that I don't get the shit out all over respect, the clubhouse. We ha- it's like a classic cut today. Why not just take the left and park in the guest spot? Why, Joe? Uh, do you want me to be honest? I do. I've always parked there. I didn't even realize it was for the members. I find that it so just felt like the right place to go is to make it right rather than go all the way over. Just design. like you didn't know the fucking hose wasn't a stick. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> exactly the same way, Bernard. Yeah, Thank you for. Right. for, for I tell you what, you need a new fucking optometrist. Like, yeah. You know, right? <laughs> oh, I got twenty twenty vision. Oh, of course, twenty fifteen. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> twenty twenty well, vision. Yeah, I mean, eyes of a nighthawk. The sign, sign could have been a billboard <laughs> on Sunday. <laughs> ridiculous and, and Jeff, <laughs> while we have you here i do want to ask you one thing how many times would you say that joe got shushed at the golf tournament this week tell the world my story there jet please do um, well it wasn't even the amount of times it was the time it took before it happened like we were there oh, for 10 yeah, seconds and a half 10 seconds well right on yeah. the first yeah. hole we yeah. like yeah. we just got there and a <laughs> caddy turned i would say four four or five times there in, we go in in uh in hour 40. Bingo. I mean, I say it every week. Cuts isn't for everybody. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, they you hate me or you love me. There's no yeah, one between. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said the that I say that on the on happy the, hour, Bob. I'm not Patreon. I'm not vanilla ice cream, you know. I'm something bold. Either you really like it or you don't. What ice no, cream would you what, would you, what ice cream what ice cream would you say he is, Bear Down? Perhaps <laughs> it would be fitting if I said it was pistachio given the, days, uh, on the pistachio frappuccino. He would be like something like By the that way, that was gonna be my, my buy, Bob, was the pistachio frapp. Maybe I okay. could see cuts being like a rum raisin. Maybe like a rum oh, raisin. Yeah, just something like of rum raisin. Yeah. 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 Rum raisin. Okay, boys, we got a good top five today. We got a very, very good top five. And um, we are actually gonna go ahead and keep. Binyamin Shicker, oh, and I don't wow. that name lightly. Welcome aboard. Um, now Jets, this, Jets, Jets graphics going to be up now. Because you rep- you do represent the Jewish community, I as do I. Oh, you know, yes. And for PR reasons, we are going to label the, <laughs> although I think we're in the right to say top five Jews, we will say top five 
Jewish, Jewish celebrities. celebrities. We're gonna do top <clears throat> five Jewish celebrities. Um, and what I'll do, Jed, is I'm gonna I'm gonna we're actually gonna put you last. Okay, there's something that we wanted yeah, to give do. Me a minute. Give me a minute. Take your time, and then we're yeah, gonna go go back to the food after. <clears throat> um, if I may, can I get the ball rolling here, or does anybody want to want to start? Your show, you Bob. or me, whoever. I've been I've been chomping at the bit for this list. I, All right, I, go I ahead, really Bob. have. I put them. I I put them in. I did not um, put it in order. So now I got to quickly put that into order. But um, go ahead and lock me in for lock me in for Seth Rogen at five. I think what Seth Rogen has done to the Jewish community is unbelievable. I think he wears it out with pride. People know that he's Jewish. Some of these guys, you don't know for sure if they're Jewish or not. Seth Rogen lets you know it. I think he's great for the Jewish community. Um, number four, he pays my bills. He is a powerhouse. Mark Zuckerberg. I mean, what Mark Zuckerberg has done for Bob is, I mean, I got it. It's a shame that I don't have him at one powerful individual love the last name um as jewish as they come give me zuckerberg in the four hole and then number three i mean just an iconic name when you say the name it holds weight giuseppe actually had lunch next to him um at the polo lounge which is where they charge like 45 dollars for i mean a sandwich it's nuts give me mm -hmm. steven spielberg at three spielberg yeah, that's a good one spielberg's gonna go at three um Number two, he sings a song about being Jewish. That song smacks come Hanukkah season every single time. Adam Sandler. I mean, tough to debate that one, what that guy does for the <sighs> Jewish community. I got – bear down. <laughs> no, I'm, I, I like Adam Sandler's films. <laughs> no, I like – I'm sorry. I didn't mean to sigh. That was a loud sigh. That yeah, was, it was a, a loud sigh. One of the louder sighs I've heard. It was a disrupting sigh. I can't hear that sigh and not stop my lips. I, thought I don't my remember the last time I tried to sigh. It just kind of naturally happened. I thought my mic was muted. Okay. Because oh. Adam Sandler's <laughs> not going to be in Bear Down's top five. Um, and then number one to me, I mean, the GOAT. Uh, I don't care if people debate me on this or not. It's got to be there. Lock me in for Larry David at one. Give me Larry David all. I mean, just a comedic genius um, doesn't change for anybody. You talk to people, they say he's the exact same guy um, that is Keegan Bradley actually told the great story. Dear friend of the pod, Keegan Bradley, he played at a, at a pro-am with Larry David and their group was doing really good. Their group was like in second place. Larry David gets a phone call and has to leave the tournament he goes to leave in his cart. He has one of their group members bags on the back cart. And he also takes the scorecard that they had as well. So they lose the scorecard. One of their member loses the clubs and Larry just keeps driving. Um, iconic figure. Give me Larry David at number one. And we head on over to Mikey bear down. Cuz. Okay. I was ready to go, Bob. Mikey bear down. Cuz. <laughs> Okay. Uh, number five, give me Mel Brooks. Mel Brooks, uh, Blazing Saddles, Spaceballs. <laughs> uh, I mean, Mel Brooks is responsible for some of the greatest comedic uh, masterpieces of our time is Mel Brooks. Now, why is Mel Brooks getting scoffed at? I can't believe it. Because, because Adam Sandler Young Frankenstein. Did. Because Adam Sandler, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, Mel Brooks made 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 classics, Bob. I'm not saying Sandler didn't. I love Happy Gilmore. I love, you know, Billy Madison. I'm a big fan of Sandler's work, but Mel Brooks is my five. So Mel Brooks is number five. Number four, I'm going to go with Jacob Rodney Cohen. You know who Jacob Rodney Cohen is? I do not. Better known as Rodney Dangerfield. That's Rodney Dangerfield's oh, original oh, real wow. name. Rodney Dangerfield at number four, my favorite stand-up comedian of all time, uh, Caddyshack, I, I, the king of the one-liner, really, in my opinion. Nobody really comes close to touching Rodney with his delivery. Uh, love Rodney Dangerfield at four. Number three, Sandy Koufax. I'm going to go Sandy Koufax at number Jet, three. Jed had to be toying with that. Jed had to be toying <laughs> with that. Sandy yeah. Koufax, uh, certainly, I would think, has to wear the moniker of the most famous Jewish athlete of all time. I'm going to go with Sandy at three. Number two, I'm going to go, and I can't believe Bob didn't dabble in the genre whatsoever. I'm very disappointed in him, to be quite honest. But I'm going to go with the with the king of Madison Square Garden right now, Mr. Billy Joel at number two. Give me Billy Joel at number two. Uh, what's Is that a problem, Bob? 
You're, you're, you. I hate backwards. that I missed it. Oh, okay. I, hate, I okay. thought okay. you I were thought gonna have them for sure, version. Bob. I hate that I missed it. I really Bill, do. Billy Joel two, and then number one, I'm right there with Bob. It's got to be Larry. Got to be Larry. Larry is the is the quintessential Jewish man. I, I, I everything about Larry responsible for Seinfeld. Curb, like I always said, if you're not a Curb watcher, but you're a Seinfeld person, I don't know how you could be one without the other. But Curb is like Seinfeld on steroids. Just incredible, incredible stuff from Larry David. So yes, those would be my five. We head on over. Joey Coldcut's top five Jewish celebrities. All right. I, uh, I try to mix them around here, but uh, yeah, my five, I start with Billy Joel. Um, I, 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 to be honest, I thought for sure he was in your thing with, you know, Bob, Bob is maybe his favorite artist of all time. And without How do you question, not include him in the top five Jews? I was thinking it had to be Neil Diamond or Billy Joel for Bob. Diamond, Diamond's a great honorable mention, by the way. So then number four, we're going to move on over. Uh, he's from British Columbia, Vancouver. He's a fellow Vancouverite. Uh, Seth Rogen. I think he is, he's the epitome of like a young aspiring Jewish guy who's just, you know, been really everywhere for the last five to 10 years. I mean, movies wise, he's hysterical. He does stand up. He's, he's a beauty. So Seth Rogen, give me a, a number four, number three. Now, I feel like a lot of these lists are male biased, so we're going to open it up. So bear, you know, bear down might be the voice of the voices. I'm, I like to empower everyone. So I'm going to include a woman at number three. And Frank is Scarlett Johansson at number three, an absolute star stunner, head turner, beautiful woman embodies everything, what it means to be a young, beautiful Jewish actress. Give me Scarlett Johansson at number three. Number two, we're moving on up, and you guys had them both at number one. I'm going to put Larry David at number one, um, and I, I think you know we all can agree that he's just fantastic. What he does is amazing for the game. It's it's, it's unbelievable. Um, and then number, finally, number two, number two, you're putting him at. Yeah, yeah, number two, and number one for me is the one that you laughed at, and I think that this, to me, as a non-Jewish person who thinks about Jewish people, I think Adam Sandler is the first person that I think of. So I, I'm with Bob. There's no need to scoff at that. I think he I made a scoffed. song about Hanukkah. I felt the scud. I sighed. I felt the scud. He made a song about Hanukkah. He did a, sure a children's did. movie sure that was did. based on it. I mean, it's just to me, it's that's a hundred percent. It's it's that's that's the guy who comes in at number one. Hey boys, can I get oh. a little bit of a drum roll? Oh, here, please, the jet has made have it the on. Jet coming on for the top five. Jet close. It's showdown, right. baby. Bear in mind, no preparation for this. Here we go. Five, I got Albert Einstein. Wow. I'm not, Whoa. What a great I'm not, start. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure what he did. I just know he's a legendary Jew. So that's yeah, one. I was going to put Einstein, <laughs> but I, I felt as though I didn't know if that encapsulated celebrity. Oh, I, that's you're Bob not, threw me you're off. I like the rest of them either. No. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> if you went with religious mm-hmm. figures, I'm going to be yeah, very upset. I, if we don't like the next one, Jay, you might just want to quit. <laughs> oh, that's not nice. That's not. Nice. You know what? I'm gonna have John Zama give my top five. Jet's gonna, Jet's gonna, Jet's, Jet's gonna quit. Jet's gonna quit after three. By he's three, he's third. done, Bob. He's throwing yeah. in the towel. We won't be able to get him to these guys. They see it every day. The disrespect is unreal. Just know that they're not. Number four, Sandy Koufax. Now. If you ask any Jew over 60 who, like, the greatest Jew is, they'll all say Sandy Koufax because he did not pitch during the World Series on Yom Kippur. So he is anointed. <laughs> Which is exactly <laughs> why Bear Down at the age of 35 had him in there. That's what, yeah. well, Bear Down, Bear Down. Bear Down is like an old soul. He knows, you know? Yeah. That's number, right. three, number three, I got Larry David, as you guys, as you guys mentioned. Yeah. Number two, we're going with Adam Sandler because he's the GOAT. Um, you can't, I mean, like, as Cole Cut said, when you think of Jew, you think of Adam Sandler. And number one, you guys are not going to accept this, but to me, <laughs> the greatest Jew of all time, the prophet himself, Moses. Yeah, I was going to say. I had celebrities, though. I had Moses. He's on the Walk of Fame. He's this said celebrities, he's though. He's got a star on the Walk of Fame. I think. Uh, he's, does he really? I have no idea. I don't oh. think. <laughs> I fucking parted a C. He did more Artist, than any other fucking he took the celebrity did. Egypt. Moses is... Number one draft pick of all time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, don't, I, I mean, I didn't know he was a celebrity. Otherwise, I wouldn't include him. Very good stuff. And, uh, yeah, he was in like the Ten Commandments or something. <laughs> <laughs> Great movie. Good, good well Easter done, movie. Jet. Jet, very, you held your own today. I'm very proud of you, Jet. Yeah, you did. And by the way, Jet, I'll take you as my fourth any day of the week, pal. Wow. But let's it's hit the driving range. Honorable mention, Bob. 
Oh, yeah. honorable mention. Oh. Right, where I just I'm sick to my stomach about it. Billy Joel. <laughs> I mean, Billy Joel's my guy. I, I I fucked up on that. I still think I have a great list, but Billy Joel's my favorite artist of all time, and it's not even close. Here's to prove um, my sigh was just a sigh, not a scoff. Adam Sandler is my honorable mention. <laughs> Mark, he's my honorable mention. I think he, right. Sandler's very good. Cuban, did you say Cuban Jet? He would be an honorable mention to me. Yeah, right? it's a great honorable mention. I think Spielberg is a good one. Bob put, and no one else put. Fair, fair. Hey, boys, you know what? Action packed show. Oh, Jet. Sasha Baron Cohen. I'm just going to go on a roll right now. <laughs> Jet. <laughs> Jet. <laughs> Jet. John uh, Rickles. Sasha Baron Cohen is a good one. Jet got, put on, the, he got put on the hot seat. Um, and I thought he performed very well. I thought he, he did. did a great he case. Did. He's going to be our fourth regardless. We go after Rayos. We're going to have a really nice dinner, another nice show. And by the way, numbers keep fucking moving so we thank you guys for that we love you guys we appreciate you that's mikey bear down cuz giuseppe d and of course the one and only the jet we will see you next time see you boys